Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can build an ALV report in very easily. Okay, so this is an ALV program that I have already created. Okay, if so, basically this basically finds out all the uh, all the baddies that has been already implemented in your system. Okay, the Z ones. Okay, so here if you see i have written this tables condition and the select options and here this is we have used this feature now i will tell you something where this alv first of all this alv will have some issues like it will you will not be able to download in an excel and all those things and how you can solve it very easily okay so i'll just activate this code now and so just activate this code here and now if I execute okay here I'll just mention Z star okay so basically this is the class I didn't put the text elements so I just put Z star and if you see I have all these things I have got all this information okay now the problem is I cannot download I cannot filter nothing so this happens because I have commented one portion of code that you you need to just comment in okay comment out so here this is the one okay so I'll just take this out and I'll click on this okay and I'll activate this so the moment I have activated we'll see we'll execute this again and we'll select Z star okay and i'll execute boom you can see all these things are coming all these uh, features add-on features that are available in alv without which an alv doesn't make sense will be available okay so if you want to keep this handy what you will what you should be do, doing is just do one thing you just copy this code and i always do this uh, just copy this code and keep this one i'll just take this one i'll copy this code i'll do a control c and now i'll go here and i'll select code templates the moment i hit code templates i can put my own code here so i will say z a l v okay the moment i do this and here i'll put this code okay and i'll save it now you might say what what you have done here so what i have done is whenever i go and probably i should have selected this one also so let me select this one also this portion of the code so i go here i'll just select z a l v here you can see and again once you have created you can always edit it okay so i'll just add this one also and i'll save it okay now what happened is after this suppose i go here and i just type z a l v the moment i do and i press tab the code gets generated so in this way you don't have to worry about where is the piece of code which in which project you have kept it just copy these templates all the templates in your things so similar things you can should do for emails and all those things so it's very useful and in this way you can maintain your own uh, code templates in your app editor.